month here, you can't, you, you, you make a thousand dollars a two months. <laughs> What up, AOK Mafia? It's your boy, Artie Kicks It Just Like That. We back with another one. All right, y'all. So today, today, this episode of um, I Wish a Karen Wood is going to be titled I Wish a Kevin Wood. I got two video clips here. Both of them already watched. This first one, I haven't watched the entire thing all the way through because I feel like it's a very important conversation to be had around this man's behavior. So we're going to do that. And then the second video, it's kind of like that too. But uh, this first one, I'm going to have to do a lot of bleeping. I'm going to tell you all that right now. But anyway, let's check out this situation. Y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. So it's a young lady recording this man. Get the f*** out of here. Hey, get, get the f*** out of here. Get the f*** out of here. I pay $1,000 a month here. You can't, you, you, you make a thousand dollars a two months. <laughs> He's like, I pay a thousand dollars a month here. You make a thousand dollars a two months. <laughs> yeah, look, the reason I'm laughing is because my former roommate, whose name I shall not mention, <laughs> He used to argue just like this. He was horrible at comebacks and arguing. <laughs> you know, like, people be real witty. They can say some smart stuff in, like, the spare of a moment in an argument. He he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. He was horrible. So that's why I'm laughing, because it sounds like him. How do you know that? You're a dumb, black... Oh! <laughs> My roommate used to say stuff like that too. He wouldn't use the N word, but he would definitely say black. <laughs> but I'm telling you, it sounds just like him. Yeah, and I'm racist. And I'm a racist mother. Oh, he admitted it. I got an AK 47 right now in my car. I'll blow your head off. Well, I'm glad that he <laughs> admitted his racism. Because a lot of times, people tend not to even when they are they tend not to admit it even when they know they are but admitting it makes you look wrong <laughs> or makes you look that you're in the wrong she's just laughing he said she was driving erratically and I hear a lady voice saying, "He's you're acting erratically. I don't remember this part. You don't, okay, but first of all, you don't call, I don't call her name. You don't call her name. First off, shout out to this woman right here. Shout out to this woman for standing up for someone else. Even if she's not of her own ethnicity. We need more people like this in the world. People that are not afraid to step up, step forward, and to look after their fellow human being. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This woman clearly isn't black, but she's standing up for this black woman, and she's not letting down for nothing. I hear this man. Yes, I am. 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 Y
He's such a big kid, man. He's like a big baby. I'm going to tell y'all right now what his problem really is. He's ignorant. He's ignorant. Shout out to Bob Proctor, one of my idols. A man that has changed my life. A man that I have made numerous videos on um, covering, talking about in my second channel um, called A Different Perspective. I once heard Bob Proctor say, he said this a long time ago, before I was even born, white man. He says, people that are racist are ignorant. They're ignorant of the fact that they are unaware about the other person's culture. This man don't know black people that well. Because if he did, he wouldn't be the man that he is today. There was once this guy, I can't remember what his name is, but I, I saw him on Joe Rogan's podcast. This man single-handedly was able to change the minds and perspective of over 200 clan members and clan leaders. And I'm talking about the Triple K. I mean, he was able to befriend clan leaders to the point where they gained trust in him and allowed him to come to some of their rallies, some of their gatherings. And ultimately was able to get them to want to leave those clans. And what he discovered from every last person that he spoke to that was in those clans is that none of them were fully aware of the individuals that they were hating on, that they disliked, the cultures, the ethnicities, people that they had all this hatred for, they knew nothing of them. They had assumptions about them, but what they discovered was their assumptions were wrong, if not worse than their own. When I say their own, in comparison, this man is clearly ignorant. You can even tell in the way that he argue, he's not saying anything that makes any sense whatsoever. It's just all aggression. I can, I can tell you one thing. This man doesn't have very much love for himself because if he did, he would have love for fellow people. He would have love for his neighbors. He would have love for others just in general. And I can say this because I wasn't too different from him 10 years ago. When I didn't have that love for myself, there were ethnicities that I didn't have love for either. But when I began to love myself, I began to love everyone else. We're one race on this planet, the human race. You and everybody that looks like you. Okay. you. You see that? You see that? He's proven me right. He's a racist and he, he's picking on this girl. Who, who can't? Whoa, whoa. What are they gonna, what are they gonna come arrest me? Are you drunk, dude? Because you look like a fool. Yeah, no. You look like you're, a you're drunk fool. and you're on fucking you're, you. He's not happy. I'm telling you guys. This is a man who is not happy with his life. You're on pills and you're a fat pig. You're a fat pig. And you're a white A whole lot of swearing going on in this video. A whole lot of swearing. But we got another video.
let's see. All right, y'all. This video right here, I first saw it on Instagram yesterday. This man, this white guy right here, um, was talking smack on the internet about this dude and challenged this dude. Man, he like, man, I'll beat your butt. I'll beat your butt. He's like, all right, come down to my boxing gym. I run this gym. I'm a professional. Come holler at me. Let's watch how this goes. I'm going to get over here on this side. I don't know. Maybe I should be on the other side, but hell, we'll see. You came in for a reason. You came here to kick my ass. You came here to kick a coach ass. Dude, let's go. You think I didn't come down here? You think I drove all this way because I didn't look you up? Or do, or do research on you? I'm not. I don't hope you did do research on you. Because I don't want to kick him like I don't want nobody kicking my ass. I want to be trained. I want to be trained. Say he want to be trained. I love how just the, the coach is just chill. He's chill. He's like, man, this dude. He's like, I'm about to make an example out of him. I love it. We're going to do some music. Let's do it. Look at this dude. Look at this. <laughs> He is, oh, uh, it irks me. He looked like he can't fight for nothing. <laughs> he looked like he can't fight. Well, you never done what before? I have a guy walk into your, in your, your, your gym. You never had this? <laughs> you never had this before, Bill? No, I have not. <laughs> Let's see what this guy got. Let's see what he got. Oh, what is he doing? What is that? What is he? What is he? <laughs> he's tapping him like he's a little kid or something, man. He look like he's tickling this man. The, co the coach ain't even feeling it, bro. He was like, all right. He was like, now I see what this dude got. I'm about to destroy him. This dude. Oof. Oh! <laughs> I'm on the wrong side. I am on the wrong side. Woo! Did y'all see that? One to the gut. Knockout. <laughs> So I want to continue. You stepped in the wrong gym. In the wrong gym. Exactly. You can't come to the gym and ask this boss of mine. Let's go. Let's work. Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Let's work. He's out of it. Your, uh, your street attitude is gonna get you first in the boxing gym. Come on, let's work. Let's fucking work. Come on. Let's work. Let's fucking 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 work. You're all talk. No action. This man really came in there giving him love taps like, like he was a, a little kitty cat. Boxing gym. I wanted to challenge the coach. That's not what fucking gym is. That's not what boxing is about. Boxing gym is about, man. You have your shit you doing outside on the streets. You do want to be doing the streets. You can't come in. You have to be humble when you walk in a boxing gym. You can't say, oh, I want to want to spoil you. Come on, get up. I'm going to give you a chance to throw punches at me. Come on, don't punch at me. Let's work. I'm not hitting you. I'm not hitting you. Let's work. Come on, I'm tapping. Let's work, baby. No, I'm not hitting you. You see, man, he's scared to be hit. <laughs> man, he's scared to be hit. The coach like, come on, man. I'm gonna let you get. Me. I'm gonna let you hit me. I'm gonna let you get me. He like, I ain't gonna hit you. He like, no, you gonna hit me. You gonna hit me. Look, now he's scared to. Get... <laughs> I'm hitting you. Come on. I know you. Throw me a punch. Throw a punch at him. Pop it up. Come on. Let me see what you got. Too many people be talking smack and can't even defend themselves. He just keeping him at. He's like, you ain't got no type of work. He's just keeping him at bay. The dude, 
He look like this is the first time he ever put gloves on in his life. Let me move, let me move. I'm gonna let y'all see this. He ain't doing nothing, but I'm gonna let y'all see it. You ain't tough. Who the fuck you think you who do you? Who do you box in the streets? Who do you box in the streets? You say how many fights is work? Hands up because I'm gonna hit you now. I know you're Hands up, I'm gonna hit you. Yeah. <laughs> you heard of the dude was like, oh snap, you gonna hit me now? Oh wait, I ain't ready. I ain't ready. I don't, I don't wanna play no more. If you gonna hit me. I already felt what you hit so like you knock me out. I know Hands you up, I'm gonna hit you. Hands up. Come on, hands up. Ah, hands up. Hands up. Let's go. Hey, this dude is doing like my former roommate. He used to do that. He'll grunt. Ah. Him and I used to get into wrestling matches because he played too dang on much. And I would I'd be tearing him up. He'll, ah. He'll grunt. I'm like, bro, you still can't beat me. Come on, baby. It's fun. It's fun shit to me. Uh, yo, I need to run fucking boxing gym, dude. You can't fucking fuck 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 come in the gym and fucking want to challenge the coach. Come on, hands up if I hit you. I don't want to hit you. I'll just take a shot if I want to. I Keep don't need that. Keep your hands up. Hey, let me see you get your hands up. Woo! 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 Tear him up. Tear him up. Look at this. Hey, dude, try. <laughs> he tried to pump himself up. I'm like, no, I got this. I got this. Oof. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. <laughs> Golden. Hey, hey, I, hey, hey, I wouldn't fight this dude, I tell you that. I wouldn't fight him. had hip surgery and I still tow your butt up. Woo! That was golden. That was absolutely golden, man. But look, y'all, don't do it. Don't pick fights with folks and you're not knowing what they're capable of. That's why I'm, I'm peaceful. I don't, I do not like to fight. I have gotten many fights before. I'm, I'm, I'm light-skinned and I'm only child. People tried me a lot <laughs> growing up. I don't like to fight. I don't like to fight. Look, I'm going to be honest, I've never lost a one-on-one, but it doesn't mean it won't happen. I got a bad back now, so I'm really trying to stay away from fighting. But, um, yeah, you never know what people are capable of, and I am not a fair fighter, I'm going to tell you that. But anyway, y'all know what time it is. You like this crazy reaction? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the originals will be down in the description box below if you haven't already. Make sure you follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at all the kicks. Merch available on the website. Hi, Karen. I wish you Karen would. No restocks. The caps, maybe. But no restocks of the shirts and the pullovers. Because we're bringing in a new design. Till the next one. <laughs>